A massive explosion shook the ground, sending metal and fire flying in all directions. Nine lives were lost in an instant. Over 50 more were left injured. This was no ordinary accident. This was a disaster that experts thought was impossible. A steam locomotive's boiler, built to withstand extreme pressure, suddenly tearing itself apart in one final violent blast. But what went wrong? Was it a mechanical failure? Or was this tragedy the result of a deadly mistake? What investigators discovered was more shocking than anyone expected. This is the untold story of Germany's last recorded boiler explosion, one of the most haunting railway disasters in history. Bitterfeld Wolfen, a city of 37,568 people as of 2021, was formed in 2007 by merging Bitterfeld, Wolfen, and three nearby municipalities. It lies in Saxony-Anhalt, eastern Germany, 19 miles from Leipzig and 62 miles from Potsdam. Before German reunification in 1990, Bitterfeld was part of East Germany, a region known for its industry and railways. Trains were the backbone of transportation until one tragic day in 1977. Bitterfeld Station sits on the Trebnitz-Leipzig rail line, a key route spanning 51 miles. Built in 1874, this double-tracked main line was essential for both passenger and freight transport. The train involved in the disaster was Express Train D-562, running from Leipzig to Berlin. At the start of its journey, D-562 was pulled by a DR-03121 steam locomotive a powerful express train engine introduced in 1930. When DR-03 broke down, it was replaced with DR-011516 for the return trip from Berlin to Leipzig as D-567. On November 27, 1977, express train D-562 is racing toward Berlin, pulled by DR-03121. The crew pushes the locomotive as hard as it can go with the stoker feeding a constant stream of coal into the firebox, keeping the flames burning hot. The fire heats the water in the boiler, turning it into steam, which powers the locomotive. Both men are experienced, but on this day, their calculations fall short. They fail to notice the water levels dropping, something that would prove disastrous. Just 54 miles from Berlin, past Wittenberg, the boiler runs dry. The heat rises, the pressure builds, and the damage begins, setting the stage for a disaster no one saw coming. As the pressure inside the boiler rises uncontrollably, two melting plugs, lead bolts positioned in the roof of the firebox, begin to melt. They're designed to act as a safety measure, preventing a catastrophic explosion. The sound of the plugs melting is so loud it drowns out the noise of the steam engine itself. With the melting plugs, steam floods into the firebox, extinguishing the flames. The locomotive stops, not due to the crew's actions, but because of the emergency mechanism in place. This is a safety feature meant to prevent overpressure from causing an explosion, much like the automatic brakes on modern locomotives when too much electricity is detected. After the train breaks down, the driver radios in to report the problem, which is a bit embarrassing. In reply, the DR sends a Series 118 diesel locomotive to pull the whole train, including the broken steam engine, towards Berlin. The express train is rerouted to Berlin-Lichtenberg station, while at nearby Berlin-Ostbahnhof, preparations begin for the replacement of the locomotive. The backup? DR-011516, which had just returned from maintenance at the Mining and Steam Locomotive Works. The plan was for it to serve as a backup locomotive. However, the crew faces mounting pressure. The schedule is already behind, and now they have to explain the delays to their superiors. With time running out, they tell the workers to only top up the coal, skipping the water fill-up, though they tell dispatch that both the coal and water have been filled. By doing this, they save precious minutes, allowing the locomotive to move straight to the train without the need for another stop at the water tower. As the train made its way back, the crew requested a water stop at Wittenberg. The request was denied. 
They then asked for a stop at Bitterfeld, a scheduled stop along the route. But by the time they reached Bitterfeld Station, the situation had become critical. The platform at Bitterfeld was packed with travelers, over 200 people waiting for the train to arrive. As they neared the station, the heat and pressure within the boiler climbed past its safe operational limits once again. The locomotive was running out of water, and disaster loomed. As the locomotive moved from a downhill section onto level track, the crew started braking. The remaining water above the firebox shifted forward, exposing the firebox roof. Suddenly, the water rushed back and evaporated instantly because of the intense heat. The pressure became too much, causing the firebox roof to burst. With a loud explosion, the locomotive exploded just as it reached the station platform. The explosion was catastrophic. The driver's cab was torn apart by a sudden release of steam, exceeding 200 degrees Celsius. It was like the locomotive had turned into a giant missile, unleashing incredible force. The boiler, now a deadly missile, shot forward with frightening speed, powered by the force of the pressurized steam. It was like letting go of an inflated balloon without tying the opening, chaos unleashed as the locomotive went out of control. As the boiler surged, some of the welds at the front held briefly, but the immense pressure soon ripped them apart. The boiler flipped over, throwing burning coal from the remains of the firebox. The flying embers ignited a neighboring train, setting it ablaze. The boiler's journey ended when it tore through the final welds and landed over 40 meters past the locomotive's frame. It came to a stop, welded itself to the track, forever marking the spot of this horrific disaster. On the platform, chaos reigned. Five people were struck and killed by flying debris, while two more later succumbed to their injuries in the hospital. The crew, tragically, had no chance. The driver's cab had been obliterated and their bodies would later be found on the roof of the platform, a grim testament to the explosion's sheer force. 45 survivors were left, many badly injured by flying debris and the hot steam. Their physical scars served as a haunting reminder of the destruction caused by that tragic day. The GDR government worked hard to keep the public unaware of the disaster. Information was scarce. There was no coverage outside the country and almost none within it. Only one local newspaper article briefly mentioned the incident. Most people only learned about the explosion after German reunification. After the explosion, survivors were quickly sent away, leaving investigators to examine the wreckage. When they recovered the firebox remains, they found a critical issue. Melting plugs, designed to prevent overheating, were covered in lime scale. This hardened deposit insulated them, stopping them from melting as intended, allowing temperatures to rise beyond safe limits. Strangely, this issue had gone unnoticed during the locomotive's recent maintenance at Miningen. Investigators then discovered the tender's water tanks were completely empty. The firebox roof had been exposed to extreme heat, reaching 740 degrees Celsius for at least four minutes before finally rupturing. At extreme temperatures, the firebox steel lost its strength, dropping from 510 newtons per square millimeter to less than 90. It was no longer able to withstand the pressure. The truth was clear. The crew had lied about their coal and water levels, leading to a denied water stop. Despite facing a boiler failure earlier that day, they failed to recognize the imminent danger. Instead of stopping and calling for help, they pushed on to Bitterfeld. With the crew lost in the explosion, there was no trial, only unanswered questions. How had the limescale buildup gone unnoticed? Had 1-15-16 truly returned from maintenance or was it overdue for repairs? Under pressure to recover lost time, the crew had little room for hesitation. The rigid hierarchy made it difficult for lower ranking members to challenge decisions and the Deutsche Reichsbahn, already struggling with shortages, may have rushed the locomotive back into service before it was truly ready. Investigators then turned to the locomotive that had failed earlier that day. Its coal and water reserves were nearly depleted and multiple defects were uncovered. 
This discovery led to an inspection of all Leipzig-based steam locomotives, where one engine, 03162, was found to have an astonishing 371 faults. This explosion marked Germany's last locomotive boiler failure. In response, new regulations were introduced in both East and West, mandating routine replacement of melting plugs with engraved installation dates. The Bitterfeld explosion wasn't just a mechanical failure. It was a tragic example of human error, pressure, and oversight colliding in the worst possible way. A desperate attempt to save time led to irreversible consequences, costing lives and leaving behind more questions than answers. But what do you think? Was this purely the fault of the train crew? Or was the system they worked under just as responsible? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to share this video to keep the discussion going.